what are some of the things that uh, that we eat on a common or, or on a regular basis that involve yeast? I, I right. So it's quite a long list. Yeah, there are. It is a long list, and and the fa- the famous yeast is called the sugar yeast or brewer's yeast or baker's yeast. I called it the brewer's yeast in the book because that's the oldest uh, use of it is for brewing, and but it's one species or a species in quotation marks and it's called saccharomyces which means sugar fungus and so it's it has a long history of being involved with with uh, with humans and th- there's a theory out there called the drunken ape theory that that man uh, humanity centralized its civilization in order to have grain so that they could brew uh-huh. it, <laughs> it, it's a, it's a fun theory, and I and you know, it, it tends to be uh, you know domestication is through the eye of the beholder, you know. So from our perspective, uh, we domesticated yeast, but from the yeast perspective, they may think they domesticated us because they've certainly done very well uh, from us in terms of you know expanding their population. You do find this fungus out in the wild, but you know really you find it in in beer, wine. Uh, and bread are the those are the three big ones, but it's also involved even in soy sauce uh, manufactured to a small extent, um, and in uh, chocolate fermentation. Um, you know, it's just yeah. it's just a, a fungus. This yeast is a fungus, and and it um, just has it has talents that we like. So when it gets into a say um, you know grape must or or malted barley or something like that we like what it does you know and so we yeah don't try to stop it from that and is there yeah go ahead well i was just going to say that you know there's estimates that the the value of the yeast economy on the planet is 10 percent of human economic activity and that's that's really strange to think about it from that perspective and i'm not an economist but you know that's doesn't seem far off to me that's yeah i i think you're right when you talk about yeah beer and bread and cheese and wine and yeah that's it that's sort of all things that people like that also uh generate a lot of money so that makes sense um so one thing i always wonder about is you have this yeast that's naturally occurring um you know doesn't really I don't think occurs in large quantities or anything like that. So wh- how did, how did humans get mixed up with yeast? Um, do we have any sense of that, of, about how that relationship evolved? Well, this species and the, the other related species um, are found in uh, plant nectar and in tree sap. And they also get into the uh, intestines of beetles and other insects. So probably their natural um, cycle is something like that, you know, from from the nectar of the flower into the beetle and the beetle flies away and, and drops some yeast cells in the next flower that it, um, so that, that, but when you have, a, when you're a single cell organism like that, your, li- your lifespan's very short from a certain perspective, hours maybe. and But they don't really have lifespans like we do because they just keep dividing. So, you know, it's each cell may only be a couple of hours old, but, but nobody's died, you know, they've just split into multiple individuals. And, and but what the real advantage for yeast when, when they got involved with humans is that, you know, we're willing to feed them. We're willing to give them a, 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 a big batch of sugar water and instead of a little dribble in a, in the middle of a flower, I mean, and and then when they run out of food, we just try, we we just move them off and give them some more food. So, it, the the archaeology suggests that that humans have been brewing for about ten thousand years, so or or longer. Um, yeah. And this is found. This is done by uh, looking at shards of of pots you know, clay vessels from yeah. archaeological sites, and they find the chemical fingerprints of, of these metabolites. So not just the alcohol, which would evolve, which would uh, 
you know, go just float away. But but other compounds that are it, yeah. high in, in, in wines and beers that give it color and so on. <laughs> 